kiddos. Today we're going to start a new unit and it's all about plants. I'm going to talk to you first about things that are living because plants are living things. I'll give you a list. If it's a living item, raise your hands up high and shake your fingers and say, uh, it's a living item. The first one is dog. Raise your hands. It's a living item. How about a tree? Raise your hands. It's a living item. Rock. Raise your hands. It's a, is it or isn't it? Oh, tried to trick you there. Your hands should be down and say, thumbs down. No, a rock isn't living. What about a cat? Yes, raise your hands. A cat is a living item. Careful on this one. Chalkboard. Thumbs down. No, it's not living. A crayon. Thumbs down. It's not living. A person. Hands in the air. Yes, it's a living thing. A table. Thumbs down. A table is a non-living item. A flower. Now, a flower is a living item. Thank you. Let's get on with our story today and learn about some thing, items that plants need, all living things need to survive. Here we go. Look at my picture. What do you see in our picture? Yes, there are many different kinds of people, animals, plants. You might have seen a rooster, an ant, a frog, or a toad, a rose bush, a kitten, a cactus. Yes, all those things. There are many different kinds of plants that live in our world. The word plants means living things that have leaves and roots and make their own food. You probably recognize many of these living things in this picture. In some ways, people, animals, and plants are alike. They are all alive. They need food, water, and air to grow and stay alive. But plants, people, and animals are different in many other ways. So how do you think plants and animals are different? Turn and tell someone. Okay, unlike animals and people, plants don't make sounds. You might think they make sounds when you hear the wind rustling the leaves of a tree, but that's not the tree really making the sound. That's the wind causing movement. And they cannot move from one place to another. Plants stay put. Plants need four basic things in order to live and grow. Food, water, air, and light. If a plant has these things, then it can survive, even in a little crack in the sidewalk or road. This yellow flowering plant in this picture is called a dandelion, and I'll bet you've seen plenty of those. A few weeks ago, a tiny little dandelion seed floated through the air and landed in this little crack where there was just enough soil for it to begin. Now, soil is a vocabulary word. Soil is the top layer of dirt where plants can grow. So soil isn't necessarily dirt, but it's the top layer of dirt. This dandelion gets plenty of sun here in the sidewalk, and it also gets plenty of air and water and nutrients. Nutrients, that's another vocabulary word for us. Nutrients are like the vitamins you get from your food. So the plant gets nutrients from the soil. This shady forest is a home to many different types of plants, from the tallest trees to the tiniest flowers. A forest is a large area of land where many trees grow pretty close together. Animals that live in the forest depend on these plants for food and for their homes. This forest is just one environment 
or a place where living things live, of many of them on the earth. So an environment is another word we need to think about. Here's another environment. This is a pine forest. There are some major differences between the colors and shapes of the leaves on these trees than in our last picture. In this lesson, you're gonna learn about two different types of trees, but we'll get to that later. This environment looks very different from the forest we saw in the last image. All plants need food, water, and air and light, but not every place in the world has exactly the same amount of food, water, air, or light. This desert is where it is hot and dry all year around. Plants that grow here, like this cactus, have adapted to a life in sandy soil with very little rain beneath the blazing hot sun. That tough little dandelion and the trees you saw earlier would wither and die if you tried to plant them here. And the cactus in this desert would not be able to live in either one of the sidewalk crack or the forest. Different types of plants grow in different environments or spaces. What about this environment? This picture shows an underwater environment. Fish may be the first thing that come to mind when you think about underwater life, but there's lots of plants down there. Underwater plants need the same things other plants need, including food, water, air, and light. Have you ever seen plants underwater? This environment is not a forest, not a desert, and definitely not underwater. This is a city park made when some people gathered seeds and planted them in the ground. People plant grass seeds on lawns and in parks so there are nice places to play and relax. People plant flowers and trees to make the world prettier. Some plants can be grown indoors. Maybe you even have one at home or in our classroom. If so, someone needs to water it from time to time so it stays healthy and green. All plants have four basic needs, food, water, air, and light. But not all plants can grow in all the same places on earth. A dandelion cannot grow in the desert and a corn plant cannot grow underwater. Over the next several days, you're going to learn about different types of plants and plant parts. And you will understand why plants are so important to animals and people. Let's check for understanding and comprehension. Name some of the different places or environments where we saw plants. If you said a desert, underwater, in parks, or in forests, you were correct. Number one, how are these plants the same and how are they different? If you were looking at a house plant and a cactus, how would they be the same and how would they be different? Number two, what did you learn about plants in this read aloud that makes you think plants are living? Plants grow. They need food, water, air, and light to live, just like people, just like animals. Are plants a living or non-living? That's right. They are living things. What do you think would happen if plants didn't have food, water, air, or light? If you said they probably would die, you were absolutely correct they would not be able to stay alive at all. Now, tell someone, name one way plants and animals are the same and one way that they're different. Word work. We had a word today we discussed. The word was soil. Say the word soil with me. Soil. Soil is the top layer of the dirt where seeds or plants can grow. The plant pushes its way through the soil as it grows. 
What kinds of plants would you plant in soil? Turn to someone and tell them different kinds of plants you would plant. Only use the complete sentence saying, I would plant, name your plant, in the soil. Such as, I would plant raspberry plants in the soil. What's the word we've been talking about? Soil. Thanks for listening today. And I hope you enjoyed our read aloud. We're going to be learning more about the environment and plants.